Hi everybody, I'm Julie here at Green Acres Nursery and Supply at Isley's. And part of our pollinator week, we are going to talk about what plants you want to get all those pollinators that are possible. We're gonna talk about what plant types, who are the pollinators, what good they're gonna do for you, and some great clues to have pollinators all the time. When you're looking at pollinator plants, what you're really looking for are flowers. And we're looking for a variety of flowers. So just one flowering type plant is not ideal. We're looking for variety of the different flower types. There are the tight little button ones, there are the big petal ones, and there are the ones with the little tiny dots all over. Then we're also looking for a variety of colors. And we're looking for a variety of bloom times. Where we live, we have many growing seasons, which means we want to invite as many pollinators as possible over the long term. So start looking in the annual section. If you're having any trouble with your veggie gardens now, maybe not getting quite pollinated enough, get some emergency annuals right now. Look for alyssum, look for marigolds, look for zinnia. Then start looking for perennials. And we really ask you to consider water-wise native or Mediterranean, something like a lavender or a salvia, something that's going to start blooming way before your veggie gardens need it and continue to bloom through the whole veggie period. Let's talk about who pollinators are. So we all know about bees and we want bees but there are lots of different kinds of bees and they are attracted to different kinds of plants. Another reason to get a variety. In addition to bees, the truth is, anybody that touches one flower and then touches another flower is a pollinator. So ants count, bees count, butterflies count. Any insect that goes from plant to plant is a winner. And when you choose plants, know that there is this give and take between insects and plants. Some of them do eat a little bit of leaf material, some of them do eat a little bit of plant material, some do eat some flowers. But it's usually what the plant can tolerate and it's really accepted and invited. And when you get a little bit too much of the other kind of insects, watch out for the lace wings and the ladybugs to start getting things back in control. also got some great news for you. A lot of pollinators don't want an exceptionally neat and tidy, pristine garden. They appreciate a little bit of the wild in there. Letting a few weeds go is not always a problem. And when some of your veggies start to go to seed, bolt, allow that to happen. That's what's going to bring in even more pollinators. Just as a reminder, what we're saying is a variety of plants bring in a variety of pollinators and a variety of bloom times. And that's what we're looking for. Whenever you have a chance, we're always growing our selection. There's more and more showing up every day. Come in and see our experts. Find the plants that will work for you. And know that we're always available at idiggreenacres.com.